take a moment now to begin to prepare your body for relaxation. Find a warm, comfortable place like a bed or a chair, somewhere where you will not be disturbed. Forget the cares and stresses of the world. Now is a time just for you. I want you to take a deep breath. One, two, three. Hold it for a moment. Now, breathe out. <sighs> breathe out all the tension from your busy day. Take another deep breath in one, two, three, and out, one, two, three. Now, take one last deep breath. Hold it. And as you exhale, feel a wave of relaxation washing through your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Now you may breathe normally. Scan your body and make certain all of your muscles are beginning to relax. Relax the muscles in your back, your arms, your legs, your face. Let go of all the tension and stress of the day. Feel free to allow your eyes to close and prepare for a visualization journey. You find yourself lying on your back. You believe this to be the same place that you fell asleep just hours ago. However, there is something different about this place. It doesn't seem to be the place where you laid down earlier. You breathe in deeply. The smell of freshly baked bread and cinnamon wafts around the room. You feel safe here. You know that here no one can hurt you. No one can bother you. You can just take the time to relax and enjoy. You lay for a few more moments, breathing in the comforting smell of homemade bread. The covers on the bed are soft. They are drawn up around your shoulders and you enjoy the warmth that radiates from them all around your body. Open your eyes now in your mind's eye and look around the room. You take in the friendly glow from the small round window across from your bed. It is morning and the sun peers around the edges of a yellow curtain. You decide to let some sunshine in, and you swing your legs over the edge of the bed and take the few steps across the room to the window. You feel the hard wood floor beneath your feet, and you smile as you open the curtain, and sunlight fills the small bedroom. You realize now, as you look outside, that it is the perfect day for a walk. You exit the bedroom through a round wooden door and you pause for a moment to admire the intricate carvings around the edge of the door. Someone must have spent a lot of time crafting such beautiful woodwork and you quietly thank whoever it was that brought such beauty into this place. The hall from your bedroom to the front door is rather short. 
The floor here is also hardwood, and you listen to the sound of your footfalls throughout the hall. They are muffled. There is a lot of furniture in this hall to muffle the sound. There are a few small love seats made of wicker with soft green cushions laid out upon them. There are many pictures on the walls, too. You gaze at the many family portraits, maps, and paintings on the wall as you walk by, but you do not linger for long. You are ready to take a stroll in the morning sunlight. You reach the end of the hall, and you grasp the cool brass doorknob and throw open the round green door. The door creaks pleasantly as you open it, and you blink for a few moments in the bright morning sunlight. You step out onto the front stoop and quietly close the door behind you. It shuts with a small thump, and you stand on the stoop, gazing at the beauty before you. The sun beams down on your face, and you feel its warm rays caressing your cheeks. A small summer breeze rustles your hair, as if it, too, is saying good morning. You realize now where you are. You are in the Shire, the beautiful land of green fields, bright flowers, and peaceful living. You are standing at the top of a small hill, and the Shire unfurls beneath you. There is a small path to your left, and on either side of it are bright yellow, red, and white flowers. They seem to dance in the summer breeze, and you start down the path, admiring all of the beauty around you. You hear the crunch of your feet on the stone path, and you smell the flowers, as well as the scent of bacon, bread, and various foods coming from the windows of the hobbit dwellings that you pass by. There are no hobbits out yet today. They are all inside, sleeping or enjoying their first breakfast. But you are thankful for the peace that this morning in the Shire brings. You listen to the birds singing in the trees and continue down the winding path down the hill. You think that you are heading down the hill to the small town ahead. You can see it in the distance, a town square, and you realize that that is your destination. It is the heart of Hobbiton. Perhaps you'll meet a few nice folks there. You continue on your journey down the path, surveying all of the beauty around you, the rolling fields and the well-tended flower beds the green doors in the hills, and the smoke coming from the various chimneys. You hum a merry tune to yourself. There is a spring in your step. The carefree feel of the Shire has taken hold of you, and you feel free, relaxed, and completely at ease. You pass a few farms, and you hear the cows mooing in a field next to you. There are many wooden gates on the sides of the path that you walk upon. These gates mark entrances to fields, and the paths leading to these gates have well-worn tracks from hobbit wagons that have made their way the same way for so many years. You come to another gate and you slow down. This particular gate has caught your eye. It is a sturdy wooden gate, just like the others. 
but unlike the other gates that you have passed, this one is open. You suddenly want to go through that gate to see what is on the other side. You have a feeling that something is waiting for you, something very special, something only for you to see. You look around to see if anyone is watching you, and you quickly slip through the gate. There is a small creak, and you latch the gate behind you. You hold your breath and listen for a few moments. Though no one has heard you, the only thing you can hear is the rustle of green leaves in the trees and the sound of birds singing their morning symphony. You inhale deeply and smile. This field smells of earth and summer rain. The dirt is soft and cool under your feet. It feels wonderful, and you wiggle your toes in the dirt. The crop of corn is starting to grow here. The tiny stalks come up to your waist, reaching up for the sun above. You make your way carefully through the field, not wanting to disturb the crops. The corn brushes up against you as you walk by, and you continue on. After a few minutes walk, you reach the edge of the cornfield. There is a waist-high stone wall at the edge, and you hop over it, knowing still that something is waiting for you on the other side. And then you see it. It glitters in the morning sunlight. A beautiful pond, nestled by three apple trees, and one tall willow tree. You make your way toward the willow tree, feeling the soft grass under your feet at every step. When you reach the willow tree, you see a basket and a fishing pole leaned up against its trunk. There is a note on top of the picnic basket and you look around to see if anyone is about. You carefully pick up the note. It says, in a scrawling hand, To an adventurer, please enjoy this with my compliments. You realize now that the basket and the fishing pole have been left for you. You gently open the lid of the wooden basket. Inside, there is a loaf of honey bread, a seed cake, and a jar filled with a sweet-smelling drink. You decide to save the food for later, and you pick up the fishing pole. You stand on the edge of the pond. The breeze that grazes over the top of the pond is cool but you enjoy it as it gently blows your hair back. You grip the rough wooden fishing pole and cast your line. You stand there now, soaking up the warmth of the sun. The sun's rays warm your entire body. You feel completely at peace. You feel completely safe. Hours pass, and you manage to catch a few small fish. You feel proud of your accomplishment, though rather than keeping them, you let them swim free. You have enough food in your basket for lunch, and do not feel like lighting a fire in the summer warmth. You sit with your back against the willow tree. Its bark feels rough, but you don't mind. It is comfortable and warm here. 
You reach into the basket and eat some bread. It is soft and tastes delicious. You move on to the jar of what you soon realize to be strawberry ale. It is sweet and it feels warm in the back of your throat. You enjoy this meal that was left here for you by a kind hobbit. After eating your fill, you are comfortably full. You feel sleepy and content. You lean up against the tree. A bird above in the branches begins to sing a soft song. The sun warms your entire body and you feel yourself falling to sleep after a beautiful day. You breathe deeply the sweet scent of the Shire and slowly drift off to a peaceful, restful,